Hey, what is going on everybody? And today we are dropping fence posts in the ground. We got to run and go get some more posts because plants change as they always do. And I have to get some bad bags of concrete. So I'm going to go do those errands real quick. We're going to hustle right back here and we're going to get started dropping posts. Hey, and if you ain't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. It really helps us. And like I always say, it don't cost you nothing. This is a hot one today. Time for some DP. Let's do it. Whew. Loading 12 80 pound bags of concrete. This boy needs to go back to the gym. <laughs> All right, on to getting post. All right, we're back, folks. We got our supplies. I wanted to buy in a bunch of concrete, a bunch of extra posts because I I'm a firm believer I shouldn't be out traveling stuff. I'm trying to stay outside the stores, but life does go on. There's projects that need to be done, but to minimize those trips, I that's what I'm trying to do, guys. So if you guys are worried about me going out in public and exposing myself, my family, or people to what we might have, I'm trying to minimize the trip. So I bought a lot extra, so I shouldn't be going out to the store anymore. So today, we are going to run our fence line we're going to run strings out and we're going to start driving posts or we're going to start burying posts down and then we'll run our t-posts we're going to see how far we can get today i'm running a little late because i had to go to three different stores i know i know but it seemed like everybody's in a frenzy and i don't know is everybody just buying everything up out of the stores first it was toilet paper now it's fence post staples and tensile wire and gosh what else i mean i can't even find fuel uh, pre-mixed fuel for my auger go figure we'll have to mix it up at home not a big deal just like buying the other stuff because it's guaranteed don't have to mix with it don't have to do anything just go 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 so all right it's time to get to work <laughs> all right so first things first so we're gonna open up our auger here that we got from harbor freight and we're gonna see what this is all about now I have to mix a different fuel mixture for this because apparently it's 25 for, to one fuel mixture, which is, um, you know, like I said, I couldn't find that in the store anywhere. So we're gonna have to mix that up, not a problem. So let's open this up, see what we got inside this box. Hope everything's legit inside there because I have no room to be dealing with issues right now. No time actually is what I meant to say. So let's get it opened up. pieces of plastic everything seems legit looks like it comes with a little tool kit a little fuel mixing bottle instructions. instructions not bad now we gotta save this box for the warranty what do you mean? we're actually reading the instructions but I'm just joking <laughs> put that off the side I'll oh, throw it out on that. Well, they're making a big deal out of that fuel mixture, so it must be pretty important. It's it noted everywhere, so we'll have to mix that up just right. Like, like I said, it came with a little bag of tools. It's kind of a chintzy, uh, it's kind of a chintzy cotter pin setup, but we might just change that with something else. It's not terribly heavy. You kind of want some, you kind of want some weight to these bud because you're putting it on the ground and it's doing all the work, and you want the weight to kind of guide itself down. But you don't want it so heavy that you can't pull it back up. So no, if it's too heavy, you got number two go pay people carry it. Yep. All right, let's mix some fuel up. Back.
to go. Well, success. She starts up, no problem at all. So let's start drilling some holes. But, uh, that was cool. That's a deep hole. <sighs> I like to go a little deeper than that, but apparently I don't have a bit long enough. 39 inches is the measurement of the entire tool. 30 inches is the bit. Noted. We're only going to be going down two and a half feet, guys. It is what it is. We're going to fill these holes up with concrete, though. So hopefully it'll be sturdy enough, but it's not really past the frost line, but we'll see what happens. Well, we had to break out the old chainsaw here, but we got that nasty tree root out. Oh man, even drilling the post aren't, isn't that easy of a job. What we ran into was some tree roots. We're right by a big batch of trees. I'm gonna run into this all the way, probably with every hole I have. So I broke out the chainsaw. We'll dig that down in there. I know it's horrible to run your chainsaw in the dirt, but at this point, it's a tool. I'm gonna use it for that. It's gonna make my job a lot easier. There's no other way around it. I've got to get those tree roots out of the way. Oh. Boys off getting a te uh, boys off getting a six and a half foot post. We're gonna test fit it and see how it goes. But yep, we got a lot more holes to dig. We're gonna spend the better part of our day just drilling in the soil. All right, just set it set it down. Set it over there by a tree. Watch out for the holes. There's my worker. Now only 36 more of those. <laughs> Go ahead and drop it in that hole. Ooh, I about fell in a hole, guys. Wait, I about fell in this hole. Safety on the homestead. Perfect. Being right next to this cedar tree, I guarantee I'm gonna run into tree roots. Yeah. You wanna bet? No. I ain't, taking that bet. <laughs> I ain't taking that bet. Mama ain't taking that bet. Oh man, what a day. It's been a day, guys. So so we got all the fence post holes drilled out, except for the ones going in between. We're gonna do that tomorrow, but so let's check out this progress. So got the lines down there. I tell you what, that post hole digger, it was a blessing. That auger, it was a blessing and a curse. Cause it ain't no punk. It takes some, it takes some energy to run that thing. Now I didn't string line anything. I practiced the method that if you're a mortarman in the military, it's called near far line. So what I did is I dropped two posts, got them straight, leveled, went to my next two posts I wanted to hit. And then I look directly at them and I see if the front post or the back post is off a little bit like this, near far line. And then we set our next hole. Now, 
how to get the Kubota out because I had I had a big giant tree that was right in the way of my post because guess what plans changed again push my fence line about 25 feet more that direction I did drill holes here and I was gonna go that direction there and go straight up problem I ran into tree roots I have lots and lots of tree roots around here people and that auger it can only go through so many and then it wants to bind up so I had to work around the tree roots so we got our post here and we'll be getting these things set see if we can get out of the Sun we're gonna go straight up alongside the coop Anybody local want some free barbed wire? Trying to stick to the original property line. We actually came in a little bit. Up top, I'll show you. I wind up stepping off the property line quite a bit. So, there's where the original post were at, right there. And you can see I came in off the property line what's really bad is the fact that after every little bin I gotta drive three posts and build supports because I don't want this getting wonky on me another thing I gotta do is you see these big humps here I gotta get the tractor and even that all out and oh yeah it's tick season too. Been pulling those off of me today. So right here, you see it. There's the original fence line right, right there. And here's my new fence line right, right here. There's my corner post, new fence line. So I'm giving myself plenty of room to take care of behind my fence. Doesn't mean I'm giving my neighbor my land. I decided not to use these old posts for one they're solid but if I'm going through all this work I sure don't want to deal with posts that's been there for a while already and have to fix it I said I didn't mind fixing it but really as hard as I've been working on this I ain't messing with it yo now we only dropped two posts right here because I got another cedar tree I gotta take out. Fence line's gonna straight through there. I couldn't see the angle, so I didn't wanna drop my third support post and wind up being off. So we'll wind up cutting all the branches off this cedar tree, trimming this all out, or just taking the whole tree down. Because right here, whoo, got put in four wheel drive, walk this property. It's where my gate's gonna go. About that auger. Harbor Freight, cheap, cheap Harbor Freight auger. Did it perform? Yeah, it, it performed. Things I ran into with it was the fact that the auger was too short. That comes with it. I should I should have had a longer auger. Uh, tree roots, it doesn't like to go through tree roots, but what auger does. And the gas mixture, that thing's funny. We worked through it. That's what it requires, that's what we'll give it. Um, but it ran pretty good. It was actually giving me some problems earlier in the day. It was getting it was getting pretty sluggish. And what I found out is I had to warm it up. It seems like you figure 80 degree day, you don't have to warm something up constantly. But once I got really working hard, she kept on trucking. Now, I did have there is one little issue with that auger and it's kind of a pain in the butt because it got me a few times. Now, there's a choke on the side of it right here that you can see. And when you put it in the run position, it's all the way forward to the right. And when you pull that rope, I was hitting it and it was going into the start position after it was warmed up. And I think that was the problem I was having why it was bogging down because it was choking out a lot and then the fuel was getting messed up but once i noticed that and stopped doing it 
it worked fine. So I gotta get the tractor put away. That's all we got today. And I pushed that big old cedar over. Got it right out of the ground. Not a bad deal. So the plan of attack for tomorrow is I got 12 80 pound bags of concrete. We're gonna load them up on the trailer. I'm gonna get my, uh, my big weed sprayer out and we're gonna fill that up with water. I'll take the spray nozzle off of it. We'll use that on the back of the UTV to uh, fill these holes with concrete. I'm gonna put a half a bag of concrete per hole and then we're gonna level the post out, straighten them and let them set up. From then, we're gonna let them firm up and then we'll be lightly pulling string line off of them. Now, we're not talking super tight where they're gonna get all crazy and wonky on us, but um, hopefully by then, We'll be driving T-post in, and I'll be finishing up my um, my supporting uh, post in between all those T-posts. That's all we'll be doing tomorrow. It doesn't sound like a whole lot, but uh, neither did uh, dropping all these posts, but it took me all day to do it. Luckily, my buddy came over, and uh, we put down the camera. I put down the camera, and I just got to it, because when I realized how hard this was and how hot it was, I... Um, I got a late start and I had to, I had to take a run at it. So that's why uh, there's a big gap between me drilling my first hole and then what we're doing because it was like drill hole, drop post, drill hole, drop post, drill hole, drop post. And nobody wants to see that monotonous, boringness stuff. So <laughs> I hope you guys stick with me and continue watching. But that's all we have for today. So I'll, I'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>